Behind this exhaust filter, as, as phase one to my five phase solution of air pollution and global warming, you see this, this filter attaches to car exhausts. Now this is actually a, it's a reusable fuel. Don't throw this in the landfill. It's not add to the solution, add to the problem. We're going to be part of the solution. You want one of these on every car in, in, on the planet. Just tell you that basically this is a used one. And it has between three and 5,000 miles. You can see how filthy black that is. That's all hydrocarbons. That's actually a reusable fuel. So what happens is it, it goes in. It's a double bypass, so it can't overheat the car. And it actually filters out up to 90% of all the exhaust fumes that come out of the car. This one here is designed to slide inside the tailpipe. So if you can kind of imagine what's inside here as something similar to this, you'd have a good idea on what, what the exhaust filter is all about. Like. That air is spiraling? To yeah, this, 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 this will spiral it. This, this will go up and down. What's the filter made out of? You can't, okay, you can't well, no, I have a patent pending. Um, and I haven't even opened up a corporation to keep everything above board and illegal. So this, this filter is uh, made out of a, a mesh and, and, and a, a fireproof uh, material, but I'm changing that to have it high heat resistant and flammable because I do want to use this as a reusable fuel. That's actually going to go for my second invention, which are on smokestacks and um, power plants. You won't get one drop of smoke out of the, out of the stack. The way I have the ductwork designed and my invention that goes into that, all the smoke is going to be turned back into a reusable fuel. Now that in case, you know, that in fact, that diminishes the amount of coal that you have to burn with these things. So now you got every car on the planet adding to the, uh, the coal, oh. reusable fuel. Why do I want to buy it? Why do I want to get up in the morning, go to a store, and have to buy something? Because the grandkids, they're going to need to breathe on this planet. The way we're going, they're not going to have fresh air. They're going to be walking around with oxygen tanks. Yeah, but I'm going to have to buy so one of these things every it's week. Them. No, 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 no. This, is, this gets changed with um, every oil change. Every three to 5,000 miles, you change it. So it's, it's not like you have to change it every week. And it actually, if you, if you leave it on more, then nothing can happen to the car because it's a bypass. It doesn't overheat the engine. But I'm going to have to pay some high-priced mechanic to put this thing on my car. No. A little girl could do this. <laughs> see this, see this uh, clamp? If, if you would just argument say, slide this over the tailpipe, turn the clamp, you're done. Walk away. Leave it alone. Three, three and five thousand miles, you change it again. It's not something that you, know, you have to worry about. Yeah, but they probably cost hundreds of dollars. No. The, the idea is you want to keep it simple. Between eight and ten bucks. You don't want an expense. You don't want, you don't want to, the American people have enough to pay in gas prices. You think I want to add to that problem? I'm looking to create solutions here, not, <laughs> not add to problems. They got enough to pay. Oh, what's that little green thing hanging off the end? Ah, oh, see, now that, just like I write songs, this is my, it was what called the hook. It's basically saying, hey, I'm doing my part to clean the environment, clean the air. Are you? Now, if they happen to turn this into a war, and cop gets behind you, and he doesn't see this little green ribbon, he's going to say, you ain't doing your part. You deserve a ticket. <laughs> this is an American-made invention and good old American know-how, all right? So we're showing our part. My little green string is, is saying, you know what? I care about this country. I care about my kids and my grandkids, and we want everybody to breathe freely, you know? So actually what I need is I need a, I need a big investor. I can't do this by myself. I can't make these things in my garage all day and sell them. What I need is someone with foresight. I need Donald Trump, I need Oprah, I need Bill Gates, somebody. Even if they're just, just very rich and they don't want to be known, that's cool. You don't have to know it. Just invest. Let's get a, a machine shop to spit these things out. And we won't make a profit. And, every, and we got clean air making a profit. And the best is, like I said, they don't end up in landfills. They end up as a reusable fuel. So it's, 
it's a win-win situation for everybody. If I do a vest, they're going to make a profit. The Ameri every, all, all, all the cars are on the planet. It's like taking half the amount of cars off the planet, and then you, you, you lock that in with my other four solutions. We just reduce air pollution and we reverse the effects of global warming. That's what this is all about. So it's a win-win situation in the fact that now we got clean air, everybody's making money off of it, and it's a reusable fuel. So now you've just lowered the amount of fuel going into my second event, which is, like I said, the smokestacks, power plants. I actually figured out a solution for clean coal. How cool is that? Clean coal. I mean, think about it. So now you're taking the coal out of these mines, you're burning it, you're, you're generating energy, you're generating electricity, not one puff of smoke is going out of that stack. How cool is that, Jeff? Come on, think about it. That sounds cool to me. Well, now, now you got clean coal on my second invention, and my last three inventions are actually cloud cleaners. Now, I'm going up there and I'm taking that dirt and that, that soot and that pollution out of the clouds. Okay, that, that's, and I got three inventions on how to do that. I know it sounds a little space, you know, space uh, wars and, you know, all that stuff, but it's reality. That I need our government behind me. I need the EPA behind me. I, I need America behind me. I need real, regular stand-up Americans, just like me, just to say, you know what? We have our own solutions, and we can do this. Just email me at envioclean1 at yahoo.com. That's E-N-V-I-O-C-L-E-A-N 1 at yahoo.com. Say, hey, Dom, talk to me. You know, write me an email. And let's get this on. Let's get this going. Let's, you know, get me an angel investor. Get me, uh, get me somebody big, somebody...